everyone, it's Jess Hartz and today we are building the police precinct from the TV show Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I really hope you like this build, I won't lie, I'm kind of super proud of it. <laughs> it was so, so much fun to build and I'm a huge fan of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. If you haven't seen it, it is hilarious. If you're looking for a serious cop show though, this isn't the one. It can be serious at times, but it is heavily like a comedy drama. I'll try not to spoil anything, but I will be bringing up some stuff that happens in the show and, you know, talk about the cast a bit. So if you don't want to hear any of that, I'd run away now. Okay, so the main protagonist or main character is Jake Peralta, and he's played by the wonderful Andy Samberg, and he's kind of a childish and comedic character. So I'm just gonna grab a healthy breakfast. Are those gummy bears wrapped in a fruit roll-up? Breakfast burrito, but yeah. I pity your dentist. Ah, joke's on you, I don't have a dentist. He is hilarious and a great detective. He kind of has the mentality of a college boy and he has a pet rat in his desk called Algernon. And his best friend is Charles Boyle, played by Joe Latrio, Trillo, I think that's his name, I can't pronounce it properly, sorry. He is a hardworking, very clumsy and, you know, Jake's number one fan pretty much, his fanboy. He is a hopeless romantic and honestly one of my favourite characters. He's got a weekly food blast blog where he talks about the foods of Brooklyn, New York and he ferments yoghurt in his desk, so he's a big foodie. His crush is Rosa Diaz, who is also a detective, and she's played by Stephanie Beatriz. And she's a mysterious, scary, sadistic almost person, kind of brutal. She's also one of my favourites. <laughs> I can't say much about her because, you know, that's kind of the whole thing. You can't find out much about her. She's very secretive, and, you know, if I was to say anything, she'd probably kill me, and that's just kind of how she is. She also seems to own over 100 leather jackets, so that's, you know, that's pretty cool. She has the same demeanour as Captain Holt, but he isn't as, um, angry, <laughs> who is cool, calm and collect. He doesn't show much emotion on the exterior. He's often re referred to as a robot, but he does have emotions, don't worry. He is also openly gay and proud. He has a husband, Kevin, who doesn't go much on... Holt's career due to the dangers, but Holt is an amazing character and, in my opinion, gets a lot of real-life messages in the show. And I really like that about his character. And Amy Santiago, played by Melissa Famiro, is a perfectionistic workaholic wanting to be Captain Holt's mentee? Mentee? I don't know. She wants him to be her mentor. And she idolises him so much. To a fault at times, she has a competitive nature about her, but is an amazing detective slash genius. And uh, I thought I put that little reference in there. She also cannot cook whatsoever. And if you haven't seen the first episode or even heard of the show, oh, sorry, if you have seen it and you've heard of the show, it probably wouldn't surprise you to know that her and Jake have some kind of romantic schoolyard tension going on there. But I'll save that for you guys to see for yourselves. Captain Holt's assistant is Gina Linetti, played by Chelsea Peretti, who in real life has been lifelong besties with Jake Peralta and Andy Samberg, which I think is so, so cute. I'll make sure to put in a photo of them as kids, and I think she had a crush on him. I can't remember, but I saw that somewhere. And, you know, it really does show in the series. They got that, like, bestie chemistry going on. But yeah, some people would say that Gina is a shallow and annoying person. Very, very egotistical, I will say that. And I guess, yeah, that can be very true. But she does, you know, in the best possible way. She has a dance group called Floorgasm. It's absolutely fabulous and has a pretty big following online. She kind of has a disturbing love for Terry Jeffords, played by Terry Crews. Coincidence? Mm. She, uh, he was the precinct's best marksman till he had two baby girls, Cagney and Lacey. Now he's a bit anxious. <laughs> he is a precinct sergeant, once had a major addiction to food as well. At his last precinct, he was actually called Terry Titties, where he also worked with Captain Holt. Oh, and Terry loves his yogurt. Mm. Then there's Hitchcock and Scully, and they are the precinct's worst detectives. But, you know, they both love their food more than anything, have been on the force since the 70s, and I honestly don't know how they manage that. But they are pretty funny, I won't like. Kind of disgusting, but funny. Another one of my favourite characters is a Pontiac Bandit, and uh, you meet him in the first season. He's super funny, and also in another one of my favourite shows, The Office. I won't spoil anything or who he is, but he and Jake got something special. 
I also won't lie, whenever I'm watching the show, I get the biggest urge to become a detective. Yes, I know, it's nothing like the show. See, look, I'm about to put in, like, Terry's yogurt right next to his computer. But yeah, side note. (laughs) But yeah, I know it's nothing like the show, but I don't know, this show just makes me want to be a detective. You get that sometimes, I guess. But yeah, um, yeah, the show's just such a good pick-me-up show. Um, my best friend and I call it our breakup show. So yeah. Breakup show... Mind you, my proper breakup show is Sex in the City. <laughs> I know Deligracy also loves that show, and I can totally see why. It's kind of a vice of mine. It's a bit too girly. A lot of people were a bit shocked when they found that out about me. I don't know. I can't. I, I just love it. <laughs> but yeah, Brooklyn Nine-Nine has like a super, super special place in all of my friends' hearts and mine. And to be honest, the first show, my boyfriend and I watch was Brooklyn Nine-Nine on a super hungover morning after no sleep. I showed him the funniest moments from a TV show and it was just like a hella pick me up and finally new nearly two years later we keep delaying it but we're finally gonna watch it well I keep delaying it I'm sorry but yeah finally gonna watch it I've already seen up until season six or five I think so he's got some catching up to do Anyway, how's everyone's week been going? Yesterday was super chill and also very stressful at the same time for me. I started building that beach house in The Sims 3 and I was loving it, but there was a lot of stress at the beginning there when I was using the constrained floor elevation sheet. I'll tell you all about it in that speed build, but oh my god. I'm pretty sure I got a down pout now, you know, hopefully, maybe. (laughs) I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm pretty sure everyone's pretty certain that the Island Paradise pack is um, gonna be next, so I am so dang excited. I can't wait for the announcement this Sunday, I think, for me. I really hope it's that. I was keen for a university pack, but now I'm super keen for a tropical paradise pack. Because, like, university, I feel like it'd be very much kind of along the same lines world-wise as many of the other worlds. So I think the tropical pack would you know, open up the... I don't know. I think we just need more worlds and I think the tropical expansion will probably have more... Just, yeah, we don't have any worlds like that so far. So I think it'd be good. Like, it's so much fun to play it in The Sims 3. Like, you can have a houseboat and be a flippin' mermaid. My childhood dream. I wanted to be a mermaid. And a stunt double. Or, like, yeah, a stunt double was another one of mine. (laughs) I was a weird kid. My friends and I in kindergarten and I used to always try to dig to the bottom of the sandpit because we thought if we did, we'd come to this underwater cave and get our mermaid tails. No, no lies right there. Man, kids have such weird imaginations though. I love it. I am I had so much fun digging in that sandpit. But yes, yesterday was super chill for me. I did a tiny bit of recording, but then I just played The Sims 3 for fun for a while. And like my Sims are at university at the moment and, you know, they're both nearly dying every day from the workload. And it's great. I'm having a jolly good time. <laughs> I've also been like overly excited this week due to the puppy news. I cannot wait till he arrives. If you didn't watch my last video, I've been, I'm getting a puppy and he is named Milo and he is gorgeous. I'll definitely have to put up some more photos of him on Twitter when I get him. But yeah, I am just over the moon about that. And uh, yeah, we're just decorating the precinct so far. And I really like the little details I did for um, Rose's desk. There's not much going up on the top, but if you didn't see, she has like two machetes under her desk. I thought that was a nice little touch. I actually really want to play in this build. I'm pretty sure you could alter it a little bit and turn it into an actual police station. It gave me the choice to file documents on the computers and stuff for some reason, so I think the game already thinks it's an actual police station. Hmm. Bit glitchy, but oh well, gives a game character, I think. Either way, this was super fun to build. I always love making builds from shows or movies. Also, I always want suggestions down below as for what to build next, like a show, a movie I should build from, or just an idea in general. I know I spoke about it in my last video, but I will still be working on the hospital asylum build for a while. But it's difficult due to how much it kind of made me sad. I love the idea of raising awareness but of what happened. But yeah, it can be a big task to talk about all the horrible things that happened for 30 minutes. But I do want to kind of do it. Hopefully I can get it done. But if I don't, I am very, very sorry. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, remember the remember to enter my build challenge. Hashtag Jess Hearts build challenge 2. The rules are you cannot delete anything that is already there. So the walls... 
um, and fountains, but you can add anything and everything, even walls. You must upload it with the same hashtag by the 17th of June and the theme must be eco-friendly. And I'll randomly pick a few to tour on video, then put a little montage of the rest like I did last time at the end. Um, and before it even happens, sorry I can't tour all of them in the video because that would be like over an hour long and I struggle editing a 12 minute video as it is. <laughs> anyway, what are we doing? Yeah, I kind of struggled with these hallways, so I just decided to put random stuff in them. And yeah, the bathrooms, if you've seen this show, you'll know that like the ladies bathroom is super snazzy and kind of overly stereotypically girly and pink and I had fun actually decorating this that little bathroom there and I could have made the men's a little bit grosser considering Scully and Hitchcock but you know you get them on the big jobs but yeah what's everyone's weekend's plans I think I'm having another horror movie night and a game night so I'm super keen for that I wanted to make um KFC from scratch though I found a recipe and I totally want to give it a go but, you know, it probably won't end up happening. But now I'm keen as a bean fried chicken. Sorry if some of you don't eat meat, but I do get excited over food real bad. If you have ever watched any of my older videos, you would have noticed I talk about food a lot. And I'm really sorry. <laughs> also, I don't know. I there. Pardon me. Wow. I don't know. I there. Wow. I also know not all of the precinct isn't is furnished. If I did that, the video would have been too long and the build would have been just crazy laggy. And it's not all completely canon, but, you know, I had to work with what I had. Plus, I did a pretty good job, in my opinion. I think it looks pretty good in, like, the main area. I think Holt's room's a little bit lacking in the cabinet department behind it. But, you know, it's not... You don't see it... Oh, yes, you do see it a whole lot. I should have put, like, something in there to represent his, um safe that would have been a good idea oh well next time maybe <laughs> i reckon my best friend right now is probably flipping sticks so he loves the show more than anyone else i hope you like the build dude <laughs> and yeah we're just putting in the finishing touches on holt's um office which yeah i didn't know what to do with that little bit there the wall was kind of blue but it also poked out but there wasn't enough room to extend the wall so i just put in that cabinet there and hoped it would look good and i think it kind of did <laughs> Oh yeah, funny thing about this show, it was actually cancelled by Fox, and I believe, I could be wrong, I'm just, I could be fantasizing it was cancelled, and then 24 hours later, NBC picked it up. That's how much everyone loves the show. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys watched the show, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and yeah, I gotta go. So remember to subscribe, like and comment, tick that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!